If there is a decay of conscience, the pulpit is responsible for it. If the public press lacks moral discernment, the pulpit is responsible for it. The church, if the church is degenerate and worldly, the pulpit is responsible for it. If the world loses its interest in Christianity, the pulpit is responsible for it. If Satan rules in our halls of legislation, the pulpit is responsible for it. If our politics becomes so corrupt that the very foundations of our government are ready to fall away, the pulpit is responsible for it. I heard that about maybe three, four weeks ago, and it kind of shook me. And it bore witness to me na kung nabubulok ang ating mundo, kung ano-anong nangyayari na hindi dapat nangyayari, tapos wala tayong sinasabi, tayo po ay responsable. And I realized when it says the pulpit, it talks about the preaching or the communication of the Word of God. Na dapat sinasabi yan. And it dawned on me, tama, the purpose of public proclamation of the Word of God and in other contexts like the life group is to communicate the Word and the will of God. Hindi lang pang inspire at pang encourage, kundi maturuan ng mga tao ano ang kalooban ni Lord. Para ang buhay natin, maiayo natin sa kalooban ni Lord. Hindi pang inspire, pang encourage lang kasi feeling down kami ngayon or whatever. Those things are good. But there is a call for something more substantive and something bigger than ourselves. Hindi para sa atin lang. Merong mas malaking mga consideration. And I realize that I have in some ways failed and in our own different contexts, in the life group, in the network gatherings and other gatherings of the church prayer meeting, we have failed in some ways. Masyado nating kisofen ng gospel. Masyado tayong takot magsalita about some things na dapat nagsasalita tayo. Let us look at a different scenario. Let's just say, ikaw yung sa kumpanya or sa sa iyong business, pinapag-initan ka. Ginagawan ka ng reklamo, intriga, at kung ano-anong hindi totoo, malisyoso ng mga bagay. How many of you will say, how I wish some people will stand up for me? How I wish my boss, my supervisor will stand up for me? How I wish my colleagues will say something. Huy, huwag kayong makasalita ng ganyan. I can testify. Honest yan siya. Kung hindi niya ginagawa, hindi totoo yan. How we wish. Di ba lahat tayo, we wish na merong dumipensa naman. Dahil hindi dapat paniwalaan ang mga ganong klaseng kasunungalingan dahil hindi sila totoo. Tama ba yun? Amen? We wish that for ourselves. Jesus said, do to others what you want them to do to you. Gusto mo yun ang gawin ng iba sa'yo? Gawin mo yun sa kanila. You want justice for yourself? Righteousness, etc. Do it for others. Give them justice. Amen? So let's do what's right for the sake of the will of God. So it's time to be more straightforward. To be more truthful. To be more brave to stand up for the Lord. Panahon na po na tayo po ay tumayo din at magsalita. Hindi tayo oppositionist, hindi tayo negative, pero kung merong mali na dapat ay tayo ay mag-oppose, then maybe dapat magsalita tayo.